We should be teaching young girls to take up space. Nothing is as important as taking up space in society and cementing yourself. Women are not one-dimensional, we come in different shapes and sizes, and we are all equally beautiful. I grew up in a world where a woman who looks like me, with my kind of skin and my kind of hair, was never considered to be beautiful. Beauty is subjective, so people's opinions don't really matter. People speak about diversity and representation like the world is ready, but when it actually happens, people can't take change. They can't deal with it, which is why we have things like cyberbullying, which is why people will send you nasty DMs, say nasty things in your comments because they're just not dealing with it, they're not ready. I think the most important thing is leadership. It's something that has been lacking in young women and girls for a very long time, not because we don't want to, but because of what society has labeled women to be. I think we are the most powerful beings in the world and that we should be given every opportunity. I believe that beauty means being comfortable with who you are. My thing about gender-based violence is to bring in the men, because people would ask women, what do you think we should do to fight this? And I'm like, why are you asking me? I'm not the perpetrator in most of the instances, so why don't we call on the people that are? I want children to look at me and see my face, and I want them to see their faces reflected in mine. One minute I was a PR intern, the next I was Miss South Africa. It was a question I got asked often from my friends when they heard I had entered Miss SA, will you get a weave? I always said I haven't changed myself before, so why should I now change for a competition? We need to dismantle the systems that were built on racism, that were built on the backs of black people. I'm happy to see people being fearless and finally knowing that their voices mean something and that they stand for something. I am inspired by the likes of Steve Biko, Nelson Mandela, Princess Diana, and those of their caliber. They understood fully what it means to be selfless and to stand for something. Coming from the Eastern Cape, it's one of the most poverty-stricken provinces in the country. So whether it be in education or something else, I'd like to go directly there and help because I've seen it firsthand and experienced it. I want the men of our nation to stand and take a stand against gender-based violence. Women are constantly being taught how to defend themselves against attack from men. I would like to shift the perception. I want to say that that responsibility should no longer rest on the shoulders of women alone. I think we are afraid to take up space. We are afraid to be amazing. As soon as that fear leaves us and we start building that confidence of being unapologetic about being great, then I think we can get into that space of having a lot of women leaders who are just fearless. I always knew I had to find a way to be a catalyst for positive change. I never realized how overwhelming it could be to be loved by people who don't even know you. For as long as I can remember, I always knew that I had to do something extraordinary with my life. I think as a black woman, we have a lot of colorism going on around us, and we have a lot of racism as well. 
I believe that every single person was brought into this world for a purpose, and that we should never leave the world as we found it. We should always strive to make a positive change. I knew that to live a fulfilling life, I had to live a purposeful life, a life of service. Society has been conditioned for a very long time to see beauty as something that's been westernized. Since sixth grade, I've been learning that the climate is deteriorating and the planet is dying, and it is up to us to keep our planet safe. Being black has been put in such a negative light. For such a long time, being black has been criminalized, but being black is something that I should be proud of because we have so many black people who have accomplished so many amazing things in the world. Isn't it incredible how, you know, people have to fight to look like themselves? It's so crazy to me. My grandmother probably never thought she would see a day where, you know, a young black woman would be seen as a leader, which is incredible. We're really taught to be followers from a very young age, men lead and women follow. You're not taught to be ambitious as a woman, and so when you are, Sometimes you shy away from it or you're scared of voicing your opinions. I think women should be in women's corner even more wherever. Across the world, women need to be in each other's corners. I'm so grateful to have been able to go to the world and tell the story of South African women and South African children. As I stood there for Miss Universe, I spoke about leadership and I spoke about empowering young women and young boys as well. There's something about home that you just can't find anywhere else in the world. If learners do not have a roof under which they can learn we are already setting them up for failure. My life since the Miss Universe win has changed completely. In fact, I do not think my life will ever be the same again. The platform Miss Universe has given me has exceeded my wildest expectations. I stand for the education of the South African youth, for equality and representation as Miss South Africa. I cannot wait to make a contribution to these important social causes. I didn't enter Miss S.A. because I thought I was the most beautiful woman in S.A. I entered because it's one of the few platforms that give women the ability to lead and I knew I had a powerful voice and message to send out. As Miss South Africa, I cannot wait to make a contribution to important social causes. I have been feeling the love of South Africans since I got crowned Miss South Africa, even before going to Miss Universe. Because of that, while I was walking on the Miss Universe stage, I knew that I was there as one body, but as I stood on that stage, I stood as millions of South Africans. Every time people ask me, did you know that you would be Miss Universe? My answer is, I didn't know that I would be Miss Universe because I didn't know it was possible for someone like me. When you leave home, then you leave with the possibility of not returning.